This is a legitimate satellite image of a very large proportionate hole in the ground or the mountain range. This looks intelligently designed. This is perhaps the most important glacier in the world in terms of its potential impact this century. A shocking photo from Antarctica has been leaked, showing something so startling it could change how we see the world. This terrifying photo smuggled out of Antarctica reveals a reality that is both shocking and mysterious, causing widespread fear and curiosity. The photo's emergence has sparked intense discussion about what secrets Antarctica might hold, far from human observation. In the very cold and vast areas of what we know now as a place covered in ice, Antarctica wasn't always the empty and cold place that people reluctantly accept it as today. Imagine this, around 90 million years ago, what is now a land of ice was once a beautiful and green paradise. A tropical rainforest filled with so many different kinds of life that it would make the Amazon forest we know today seem less impressive in comparison. As time went by, many years passed, and the green and vibrant landscape was harshly replaced with ice. This change serves as a sharp reminder of how unpredictable our planet can be. Or maybe it shows how the Earth doesn't really pay attention to the creatures living on it. The plants and animals that once thrived here have disappeared, lost to the unpredictable nature of our planet, leaving a place so empty that only a very few species are brave enough to live there. Thinking about the contradiction, this place, which is very unwelcoming, is strangely one of the parts of the world that we know the least about, but find the most fascinating. There are so many questions we have, and with every scientific trip we take, we learn a little more, uncovering not just the history of this continent, but possibly changing what we know about the Earth's weather history. Among the interesting puzzles is the strange behavior of compasses in this area. Compasses, which work so well in other places, seem to act up as they get closer to the poles, with their needles pointing down as if they're under a spell by the land itself. This weird happening is something that some might playfully think is due to supernatural forces keeping the South hidden from the humans who are too curious. However, the real reason behind this, which has to do with the Earth's magnetic field being different here, doesn't take away from the interesting stories about the problems with navigation. The internet has become like a modern version of Pandora's box, opening up the world for everyone who loves to explore from the comfort of their own home. It lets them find things so strange and unusual that they might as well have come from a story about the future. For instance, there are the so-called sightings of UFOs and pictures taken by satellites. These images have caused a lot of heated discussions, as intense as if they were straight out of a movie about conspiracy theories. Some of these pictures show objects that are hard to explain, making people wonder if visitors from other planets have chosen the remote icy lands of Antarctica as their crash site. However, scientists who are not as quick to believe in such exciting theories usually think that these sightings are just ordinary things, like rocks. Depending on whether you like to believe in aliens or not, you might find this either a letdown or a relief. Most of the time, these supposed alien sightings turn out to be either natural geological formations or leftovers from human activities that have been forgotten over time. But Antarctica is still a place full of real wonders, such as when a meteorite weighing 17 pounds was found there. This find is part of a hidden collection of space treasures that have been buried in the ice for thousands of years. It seems like Antarctica is a hot spot for finding meteorites, with it being the place where over half of the meteorites found in the world come from. Every meteorite, no matter its size, is like a message from space, carrying secrets about the mysteries of our universe. This highlights the importance of Antarctica not only as a historical record of Earth's past weather, but also as a crucial source of information for unlocking the secrets of the vast space beyond our planet. One of the most fascinating discoveries in the existence of fungi that somehow managed to survive in the extreme cold. These tough little organisms are found holding on to life on very old pieces of wood from human explorations that happened centuries ago. This shows just how strong and adaptable life can be, even when faced with harsh conditions that you wouldn't think anything could survive in. But finding these fungi also makes us think about something rather sad. There's no place on earth that humans haven't touched. 
There's no perfectly untouched natural area that hasn't been changed in some way by our actions and our often careless attitude towards the environment. Looking at Antarctica, it's like looking at a live example of how Earth can change, grow, and start anew. This place really tests what we think we know, surprising us in many ways, and makes us realize how much we still have to learn. The mysteries of this icy continent are humbling and reminding us how vast and unknown our planet can be. However, as we explore the depths of its icy expanse, it's crucial that we remember what Antarctica teaches us about the delicate nature of our world. Even in the most isolated and harsh places, the marks of our presence are evident. It's a lesson on how careful we need to be with every step we take, understanding that our actions have consequences that reach far beyond what we might see immediately, affecting even the coldest, most remote parts of the planet. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our world, we come across something quite astonishing in the Antarctic. Fish that you can see right through. These fish are like nothing else on Earth, showcasing nature's ability to create creatures of sheer transparency. Imagine scientists who were drilling through thick layers of ice suddenly finding these ghost-like fish. It's like stumbling upon hidden treasures at the very edges of our world, places we've barely begun to explore. This discovery is fascinating, of course, but it also makes you think. It makes you wonder whether we're too caught up in the excitement of finding see-through fish and not paying enough attention to what our presence means for these untouched natural havens. Often, we hear stories about the thrill of discovering new things, but these stories don't always talk about what it might mean for the untouched areas we're exploring. Then, there's this strange and wonderful thing called singing ice. Imagine ice that makes sound, creating a sort of music that's too high-pitched for us to hear. Scientists think that this music comes from wind blowing over the icy landscapes. But there's something about this idea that feels like nature is sending us a message. Maybe it's nature's way of showing us just how magnificent and powerful it is, and how small and insignificant we are in comparison. Despite this, we humans have a tendency to try and solve every mystery. We listen to these sounds not just to be amazed by them, but with the aim to analyze and understand them, to fit them into our own systems of knowledge. It's as if we're not content with simply experiencing the wonder of it all. We feel the need to break it down, to measure it and somehow make it ours. Hidden away in the Earth's coldest and driest spot, this old piece of a bygone era's adventures stand out in a strange way. It shows how tough and perhaps just how stubborn people can be when they set their minds to something. While the idea of a cake lasting so long without going bad might seem fascinating to some, it's hard to ignore the deeper meaning it suggests. This cake, still intact, makes us think about our deep-seated desire to make our mark on the world no matter how brief or, as in this case, hard to digest. The story of the shipwreck of the Endurance is a powerful illustration of the relentless human drive to explore the unknown. Sir Ernest Shackleton's name is now permanently linked to the story of exploration because of this event. Yet, the romanticized versions of such adventures often hide the tough realities these explorers faced. The sinking of the Endurance isn't just a tale of a journey that didn't go as planned it serves as a touching reminder of how vulnerable we are when confronted with the overwhelming force of nature. This event tells us about the incredible lengths people will go to in pursuit of discovery and the lessons learned in the face of adversity. It reminds us that despite our best efforts and grand ambitions, nature remains an unbeatable force that can challenge our plans and dreams. Recently, there's been a lot of excitement and conversation about the supposed existence of pyramids in Antarctica. This idea has sparked the interest of many people who enjoy conspiracy theories, almost as if a story from their wildest dreams had suddenly come to life. This intense curiosity in discovering hidden patterns and secrets within our natural world highlights a deep-seated desire among people to explore and find new meanings. It's fascinating to see how this drive for exploration can sometimes lead us into believing in highly imaginative theories. Furthermore, Antarctica continues to captivate our imagination, serving as a place full of wonder and mystery that challenges how much we really know. 
It pushes us to the limits of what we can endure as humans, both physically and mentally. As we delve deeper into the stories that emerge from this icy continent, we find ourselves caught in a delicate balance. Our search for knowledge is a fine line walk between gaining wisdom and overstepping our bounds, between uncovering the truly significant and veering into the realm of disrespect. It's like performing a delicate ballet at the very edge of the world, where each step we take not only advances our quest for knowledge, but also serves as a constant reminder. We are reminded of the need to carefully balance our thirst for uncovering the Earth's mysteries with the importance of not losing our way or our respect for the world and the zeal of our pursuits. This journey of discovery is a testament to the human spirit's quest for understanding, yet it also poses a challenge to ensure we approach it with care, respect, and an awareness of the impacts of our curiosity. In a surprising turn of events that seems like it was made up by people who really enjoy conspiracy theories and love adding a touch of drama to everything, People who like to explore the world from the comfort of their own warm homes made an interesting discovery while using Google Earth to look at Antarctica. They found pictures that started a lot of discussions and created many theories as cold as the continent itself. These pictures showed things that looked like pyramids, formed naturally in the ice, but some people started saying that these might actually be buildings made by an ancient civilization. This idea, although it sounds really interesting, is also pretty hard to believe. It suggests that a long time ago, before the famous explorers we read about in history books ever set foot in Antarctica, there was an already highly advanced society living in this icy desert. As we dive deeper into this mysterious story, we find ourselves exploring a wide range of theories, from ones that might make sense to others that are completely out of this world. One of these theories suggests that there was once a civilization in Antarctica that could be related to the legendary Atlantis, and it might have even come from outer space. According to this theory, these people, who were way ahead of us in terms of knowledge and technology, built pyramids to show that they were here on Earth. The locations of these so-called pyramids, not too far from the shoreline, stand out as beacons of interest in the enormous, mostly unexplored darkness of the continent. Moving from the realm of magic to the real world, the story of Antarctica is unfolded through the adventures of the Antarctic King, a small creature resembling an iguana. This being hails from an era where the continent was not the barren, frozen wasteland it is today, but rather a thriving green haven. This reptile, which lived millions of years ago and is a relative of the great dinosaurs, was the ruler of its lush surroundings. This is in sharp contrast to the few hardy creatures that managed to survive in Antarctica's current harsh, icy environment. The act of naming this ancient reptile after Ernest Shackleton, a trailblazer in the exploration of Antarctica, helps to strip away the icy layers, unveiling a history filled with vibrant life. However, not every discovery made in Antarctica is about ancient times or creatures that no longer exist. The unforgiving conditions of the continent have also taken the lives of those who dare to explore it in more recent times. An example of this is Captain Robert Falcon Scott, whose journey ended tragically on the vast ice fields of Antarctica. This serves as a grim reminder of the continent's ruthless nature. The finding of his body, which had turned a ghastly shade of yellow due to the extreme cold, along with those of his fellow explorers, offers a stark illustration of the extreme costs associated with the desire to uncover the secrets of this icy land. One of the more unusual discoveries is that of the oldest sperm ever found, which belonged to a worm-like creature that lived during the Eocene Epoch. This ancient reproductive material, found preserved in a gel-like substance, challenges what we know about the ability to survive, the concept of endurance, and the flow of time. It acts as a tiny portal to a long-gone era. As we attempt to make sense of these findings, the story of Antarctica is increasingly marked by the critical issue of climate change. The thawing of ancient icebergs, which were once awe-inspiring and seemed to be everlasting, now highlights the vulnerability of our planet. The breaking apart and melting of enormous icebergs, such as B-15, the largest ever recorded, reflected the ongoing disappearance of the world's icy regions. This relentless thaw is not just a change in our Earth's physical appearance, it also sounds an alarm about the discovery of previously hidden secrets 
and the lasting effects of rising global temperatures on sea levels. In the enchanting and mysterious world of Antarctica, a place where unsolved puzzles and undeniable truths exist side by side, this region acts as a blank page for our wildest questions and our most serious worries. Antarctica is a unique place where imaginary stories and real-life facts come together, pushing us to wonder about what's hidden under its cold exterior and to face the pressing environmental issues that threaten not just its future, but ours too. As we find ourselves on the edge of new discoveries and possible catastrophes, Antarctica softly shares stories of old rulers and current troubles, reminding us to pay attention before time runs out. Coming into this with the serious mindset of scientific study, they weren't ready for the astonishing sight that appeared from beneath the ice. A giant creature. A colossal beast extending 20 to 30 meters long. Emerging from the water with a boldness that seemed to challenge all established marine biology. This being, full of paradoxes, showed itself with a white collar that appeared to capture the limited light, standing out as a symbol of the unknown in the icy seas. It looked somewhat like a human, which was both disconcerting and fascinating, with limbs that resembled those of humans, fingers spread as if wanting to connect with the world it had avoided for so long. Its eyes, those gateways to its being, were set above a mouth that suggested hidden tales, and the lack of a nose made it even more mysterious. Named Ningen after the Japanese term for human, this name tried to link it to something familiar even though everything about it was far from what we know. No sooner had it made its appearance than the Ningen disappeared, slipping back into the deep dark from which it had emerged, leaving a trail of unanswered questions and a burning curiosity that humans couldn't quench. Following this, various people claimed to have seen the Ningen, and some even managed to catch brief moments of it on their underwater cameras. These events added more intrigue to the stories about the Ningen, but didn't manage to convince the skeptics, who doubted such tales. Many quickly criticized these stories, pointing out the contradictions and arguing that it is highly unlikely for such a creature, resembling a human in such an odd way, to exist in our oceans without being noticed. The descriptions of the Ningen varied too much, they said, which made them question if the Ningen even existed at all. However, the mystery continued to grow because there wasn't a significant effort to find this creature, whether due to fear or disbelief. The story of the Ningen lived on, fueled by rumors and the occasional daring or reckless person who claimed they had seen it. Despite being written off by many as just a product of imagination or a myth, the Ningen still fascinated those who were open to the idea that the uncharted waters of our planet might be home to creatures as extraordinary as the stories suggest. The Antarctic, with its cold, dark waters, sets the perfect stage for these mysteries, reminding us of the huge unknowns that exist just out of human reach. It's a place that challenges our understanding and invites us to imagine what else might be hiding in the depths, waiting to be discovered. We're left to wonder, is the Ningen just a figment of our imagination, a shadowy figure that we've projected onto the vast and mysterious Antarctic waters? Or is it a peek into the countless mysteries our Earth might hold, lurking beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered? Is the Ningen real, or just a story? Think about it and let us know. Like and subscribe for more.